Hello guys, what is going on tonight? I'm going to do a Missy Parsons case again and I'm glad that you're going to stop and check out this video. Look, I have my Christmas tree up, my little stockings for me, my boyfriend and the three cats. <laughs> Anyways, hope you're doing okay out there. I'm trying to keep my spirits up. It's been a rough couple of weeks. I had the flu. It's been rough. Not COVID, just the flu. Um, I'm glad that you joined me. Make sure that you press the subscribe button. Um, uh, we're going to today talk about Gary and El Elisa Tully. Tully, Tully, probably. Um, I want to say again, as I uh, always do, I'm just a girl on the internet with a camera that cares about uh, missing persons. It's just become something that I really enjoy doing. Uh, to get the word about, out about missing people. I'm not a police officer. I have no background in anything like that. So, you know, if I get things wrong, drop them in the comments. If, uh, if you know something, drop it in the comments. Just, you know, this is, uh, you know, this is for, you know, everybody to help. Not just me. These videos are for anybody who enjoys watching and helping true crime, uh, you know, Press subscribe and let's go ahead and get to this case. Not a lot of information. I'm going to straight up tell you that right now. That's why this is going to be a little bit of a shorter video. Oh, by the way, this is Fort Hood, Texas. Which Fort Hood has been in the news, you know, a lot. But this is actually not, um, doesn't have to do with the missing soldier. Although, Gary is a retired um, a soldier. And um, let's just go ahead and go over here. This is um, KWTX uh, Woodway, Texas, uh, which is in around the uh, Fort Hood area. Um, police seek public's help in a search for a Central Texas couple missing for months. The interesting thing about this case is they were not reported missing for, I believe, it was four months. Um, and there's going to be a reason for that. This is actually November 13th of 2020. And I've been watching this case to see if they popped up anywhere, um, made any contact. I've heard nothing. I've heard nothing. And the this is a little basic bulletin. Colleen police are seeking the public's help and search for a missing couple since July. They were not reported uh, missing until uh, November. Uh, Gary Christopher Tully. 47, and Elisa Tully, 32, were last heard from on July 4th. Gary Tully's 5'8", 200 pounds, brown hair. Um, but this is them. Obviously, you see he has, this is his, uh, this is going to be his military uniform. But he is um, retired. This He's not in the military anymore. And from what I gather, he also has a, um, has opened a business, uh, had a business open. Now, I'm going to go over to a Facebook page here in a second also, um, and uh, we're going to just kind of scroll through, because this is kind of how sometimes I get the information. Um, I'd look, if I can't get a hold of anybody, I'll look, uh, which is a really good clue, you know, uh, look through some Facebook posts and see what you see. And I did see a post from a neighbor on the Facebook that said that they were very private people. Now, once again, let's remember. July 4th was the last time her family uh, and friends have seen her. I uh, And they were reported till, uh, missing uh, until November. But if these people are private people, which is what I am gathering from everything I have seen or heard, uh, they're just really private people. Um, and, you know, nobody really knows too much about them. One thing that is been reported publicly is that when they finally did do a well check up on these two, um, they the house was empty. So they obviously moved, probably. I mean, they've moved. The house is totally empty. So, you know, there's a couple of questions. Do we have, did they move on their own? And they just said, you know, we don't want to talk to nobody. We don't have, you know, nothing. No, don't want any more connections. Or do we have one of these mysteries where, um, somebody else moved, maybe somebody's taken over their, their identity, but if their identity was taken over, that wouldn't, you know, that wouldn't, okay, that's not it. 
But, um, you know, just some theories. I just, throw, you know how I do that, throw theories out. So here's a Facebook post. We'll share this right here. Facebook post. Uh, same thing. Police and relatives are asking for information on the whereabouts of Gary and Elise Tully. Uh, their family will last term July, July 4th. Same thing. Just call this number. And then we have a few, you know, comments in the comments on this post. But there are a few other posts. Um, there's there's just basically it's the same post, the same post, same post, same post. So this little post about by Tiffany says, if it's your business, they are very secretive people. So you never knew when they were home or away. Um, and also that it had been reported um, that the house was empty. That's also on a website, too. But it is interesting to see these, uh, you know, discussions. And some people do um, seem to have some opinions. Apparently, this one lady does. So she lives in the neighborhood. It's a quiet neighborhood. And then this is where I also found this. So to this Kirsten page um this is that he had a business but this is apparently like it's okay this has been four years ago so um but he he's retired he's definitely retired we know that now like i said this may be naughty this may be a non you know non-case whatsoever um you know maybe nothing they may have left as i said but it is on the radar, and I just kind of wanted to make a little video, kind of put it out there. And if they happen to see it, they happen to Google their name, they'll be like, oh, shit, I am. Um, actually, people are looking for me, <laughs> which why wouldn't they be? But, you know, if they are private people and if they aren't about being all, uh, you know, you know my business, I know your business. Um but, I mean, there could be some foul play going on. You you just don't know. I'm not, you know, I'm not jumping to conclusions. I would say, though, it is very strange that in July 4th, nobody's seen or heard from her or him. So, this is KCENTV.com um, in Colleen. Colleen Police are issuing a missing person report. Same type of thing, but down here, a little bit more information. Um, Spokes, a uh, woman said that Gary and Elisa Tully family didn't report them missing until October 13 because they had not heard from them in so long. I don't know what that means. Police went to the couple's house and did a welfare check and found it empty. But there was no signs of foul play. Um, police uh, hope the missing person's flyer will lead to the couple to contact them and say they are okay. So they they they're not really sure. They're you know this is not like I said this is not a you know oh yeah you know something they're really missing. Just again maybe some people that just say hey bye I want to go so you know but I want to do a video just to get it out there. What do y'all think? If y'all anybody has heard anything, pass it on under the comments. If uh, you know these two, you know uh, pass it on. Say hey oh uh, whoa uh, the people are looking for you and clean. Um, I don't, uh, like I said, there's just not much information at all on this couple. Um, but I do want to do my part like I always do. And, um, you know, let y'all in on it. Maybe y'all can share it. Maybe it'll get to the right people. Uh, there could be some foul play that, you know, maybe we don't know about the foul play, but once again, the police said no foul play. So Let's just keep an eye out. Let's share this. Let's get this to, to hopefully Gary or Elise will see it uh, or somebody that she works with or he works with or something. Um, and maybe the right person will see it. So anyways, um, thanks for watching. I will see y'all soon. I'm probably going to do a live stream maybe tonight, <clears throat> maybe tomorrow. I have a few days more off. So I'm really, and I feel oh, so much better. I'm really, really glad. But um, and this other case that I'm, we're going to share, it's a real brain scratcher too. Very interesting. So, all right, I will see y'all soon. Thanks for watching. Make sure you subscribe, make sure you like the video, share the video, um, buy me a coffee. Uh, that's really cool. I thought that was, I thought I set this up because a lot of, um, podcasters and YouTubers do it. So anyways, and I'll see y'all in the next video or the next live stream. See you around.